mathematically slope is calculated as rise over the run mathematically slope is calculated as rise over run here slope is generally denoted by the letter m and i am taking a line on x axis i am taking three points a b and c on x axis drawing perpendicular from a on to x axis as ab from b on to x axis as bq from c on to x axis there is r here we know slope if we extend uh, this line to intersect x axis uh, at some point uh, s or m then we write the slope is equal to slope of this line is equal to slope m is equal to slope of this line l slope of this line l is a rise over run that means ab by mb as i am taking inclination theta angle made by this line with x axis as theta here i'm drawing a s perpendicular to b q and then a r to pair a x1 y1 r to pair of b x2 y2 r to pair of c as x3 y3 as we as time a m t is similar to b a s as this angle a and angle m are corresponding angles these two triangles are similar so that we can write slope of this line as b s by a s slope m is equal to b s by a s here distance from a point x axis perpendicular distance is y coordinate perpendicular distance from a point to x axis is y coordinate is y2 as a p q s is a rectangle opposite sides are equal so that sq is a uh, sq also y1 then bs is y2 minus y1 this length is y2 minus y1 then as distance from here distance distance from x axis to a point is called x coordinate here the distance is x1 so here to the point p is x1 and from o to q is a uh, distance from x y axis to a point is called x coordinate that is x2 distance from y axis to a point is called x coordinate that is x1 distance from y axis to a point is called x coordinate that is x2 so op is x1 and oq is x2 so that pq pq distance is x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 as pq is x2 minus x1 in rectangle opposite sides are equal so that as is x2 minus x1 and then x2 minus x1 now uh, here slope m of slope of this line m is equal to bs by as 
so that we can write y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 y x2 minus x1 difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates now let us draw br br perpendicular to cr so, sorry bt bt let us uh, draw bt perpendicular to cr if you draw bt perpendicular to cr here bt parallel to qr and as parallel to pr bt parallel to x axis as parallel to x axis lines parallel to the same line are parallel so that bt parallel to as bt parallel to as so angle a and angle b are corresponding angles angle a is equal to angle b is equal to theta since corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal in case of parallel lines see here here angle b also theta and one more triangle b a s is similar to sin c b t why because one corresponding angle theta is corresponding angle and a is equal to angle b angle s 90 degree angle t 90 degree by a is similar to the angle and is similar to we can write triangle B A S is similar to triangle C B T. Triangle B A S is similar to triangle C B T. You know, in similar triangles, uh, corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So that we can write B S by C T is equal to A S by B T. So uh, we can write B S by A S is equal to B is by A S is equal to C T by B T. On the other hand, uh, slope is we have slope M for north. Slope M we can write using B S by A S. B S by A S. But now B S by A S is equal to C T by B T. Yes, C T as two points B C are the two points C T. With the order of x2, y2, and x3, y3. Here, ct we can observe as y3 minus y2, and bt we can observe as x3 minus x2. So, uh, slope of this line ct by bt, ct is y3 minus y2, but bt is x3 minus x2. So, slope by using the points A, B, we can find slope as with the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. By using the point, two points B, C, we can write the slope formula as y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2, y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2. Difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates. So, slope of a line, slope of a line is however, we can find using any two points on the line. Slope of a line is however exactly same everywhere on the line. Using the points AB, we can write the slope M is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates. Using the points BC, we can write the slope, slope of this line y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2. So, slope of a line is however exactly the same ev everywhere on the line. So, you can choose any points to find slope of that line. Now, here, if we observe AB, 
and b q are perpendicular uh, on the x axis and some a s drawn on to b q then the angle at t is theta here b s we observed as y2 minus y1 and a s observed as x2 minus here y2 minus y1 makes 2 minus x1. It is opposite side, opposite side to theta. In this triangle, uh, B A S and A S is uh, that means x2 minus x1 is adjacent side to theta. So here y y2 minus y1. So here slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Here y2 minus y1 is nothing but opposite side to theta. Opposite side to theta. But x2 minus here x2 minus x1. X2 minus x1 is nothing but adjacent side to theta. In trigonometry, opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta is nothing but tan theta. So slope m, slope m of the line is tan theta. If theta is inclination, if theta is inclination of the line, then then slope of that line is. Of lines. 
if a line if a line is moving upward from left to right then the line has positive slope has positive slope if if a, if a line if a line goes if a line goes upward from left to right that mean a line goes upward from left to right then the line slope m is positive m greater than 0 if a line goes downward if a line goes downward from left to right then the line has negative slope if a line goes downwards from left to right then the slope of that line m is less than g negative if line goes left to right upward then slope of that line is greater than zero plus two if a line goes downward from left to right then slope of that line is less than zero m less than zero m is negative a perfectly horizontal line has a slope has no slope a perfectly Horizontal line has no slope. A perfectly horizontal line slope M is zero. See, perfectly horizontal line that is parallel to x-axis. That is parallel to x-axis. So this line slope is zero, and slope of x-axis also slope of x-axis is zero. Slope of x-axis is zero, and slope of line parallel to x-axis is zero. A perfectly a vertical line, perfectly vertical. Line has a slope, has a slope, but not defined. A perfectly vertical line has a slope, but it is not defined. See, this vertical line, this vertical line slope M is not defined. Perfectly vertical line slope is not defined. Here I am taking quadrant axis. Perfectly vertical line is parallel to y axis. Slope of line parallel to y axis is not defined. Slope of y axis also not defined. Slope of y axis. Slope of y axis is not defined. Slope of line parallel to y axis is not defined. Slope of x axis is zero. Slope of line parallel to x axis is zero.